Hello, welcome back. I'm Dan, that's Mike, that's Beer. Continuing with Dogfish, what's next? So for the third week here, we're going to be looking at the Burton Baton from Dogfish Head. So this is a blended beer. Okay. They're using two different beers here. They brew an English-style old ale separately. They brew an Imperial IPA separately. And then they mix them together, put it into an oak barrel, and age it in there for a month. That sounds amazing. Yes. So this is going to be a really great beer. Um, so the reason they're putting it into these oak barrels is to really kind of mellow out the alcohol bubble because this is a 10% Ooh. ABV. Wow. Um, you know, and you think something that high, you're really going to be getting the alcohol, the booziness off yep. of it. Yep. So the oak definitely takes the edge off of that booziness. Wow, look at that. Yeah, so we should nice be getting like golden. a deep amber, a um, little bit hazy coming from being in the oak barrels. So it's a tiny it's, bit. Yeah. yeah, just not quite 100% clear. Um, small off-white head there, a little bit less than a finger. Mm -hmm. Looks pretty good. For the smell, we should be getting a toffee, mm. molasses, wood. I can smell some sweet toffee in yeah. there. Yeah. But it, it already has a, a smooth taste to it. Like when a lot of times you smell IPAs, you smell super sharp hops, kind of. Right. But this has more of a, a rounded smell to it. And I don't know what hops they're using. Uh, Dogfish Head didn't deem it necessary to reveal that to the drinking mm -hmm. public. Um, but I would guess for an old ale, they're probably using some kind of a, a UK type of hop, right. maybe a Kent Golding mm -hmm. for IPA, um, probably um, Cascade hop or something like that. All right, well, let's give it a taste. Yeah, cheers. cheers. All right, that is oh, a wow. full flavored beer. The mouthfeel on that, just heavy. A lot of taste to it. It's, I think for me, I caught some sweetness up front. Yep. And now some bitterness rolling in at the end there, too. And it, yeah, definitely yeah. kind of thick and sticky mouthfeel. That's a big beer. Yeah, almost a little bit, um, I would say a little bit astringent, I think, just from the high ABV, you know? I'm going to have to get back in there. But does it taste boozy? I don't think so. Um, I'm not really. Tasting the alcohol, I think I'm more tasting the, the sharpness yeah. of the alcohol. I'm not tasting it there. Man, um, yeah, that, you can feel it. That's a strong one. <laughs> it is, right? Yeah. Um, also, kind of malty there. Really sticky. Yeah. It's got a really sticky mouthfeel right now. So it's a mix between, you said, an Imperial IPA and an English-style ale. That's right. And then they aged it in the oak tank. Yep. That's so really I think good. a lot of your ABV is coming from that Imperial IPA, mm -hmm. and you're getting more of like the stickiness and the maltiness from that English old okay. ale. Really interesting beer, though. Um, definitely tasty. And look, if you're looking to have fun on a Saturday night, this is going to get it done in one. That's right. For you with 10 uh, ABV. 70 IBU as well, but I, I think the wood... Hidden by the malt and yeah, yeah. Uh, aging it in the oak cast kind of smooths that out quite right. a bit. Yeah. Really interesting beer, though. Uh, I enjoyed it. So Yeah, that's tasty. Well, if you've had this beer out there, make sure you let us know about it in the comments below. Also, hit subscribe so you can see all of our other beer reviews. Like we said, we're doing the Dogfish Head Month here in June. And we're going to finish it off next week with our 120-minute IPA. Oh. Yes, that is the holy grail uh, for craft brew drinkers. So make sure to tune in for that. Until next time, we'll see you later. All right, see you.